MMA Grinders. Coming up next, we determine the best strawweight on the planet, a matchup for the UFC women's 115-pound title. All right, so here is the UFC superstar Paige Van Zandt. She's about as classy as it gets. Injuries have become part of the narrative, at least recently here. She'll try to get on track here tonight. Yes, Paige Van Zandt is a star, right? The magnetic personality, the big smile. She lights up every room she steps into. She's just a person that you want to be around because you know she's exuding happiness. But that's until she goes into an octagon. When she gets into an octagon, she is nasty. A fighter's fighter, a person that's willing to go out there and just let it all hang out. Even in defeat, you see the toughness of Paige Van Zandt. She had a huge win by submission over Rachel Ostovich. That was January of 2019. Seems to have the arm injuries in check. We'll see how it goes for PVZ here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. Introducing the fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Portland, Oregon, introducing the challenger, 12 gauge Paige Bazan. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Body out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Mackenzie Dunn. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. How do you see it playing out? This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She could be forced to stand, but she's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you gonna shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early go. Sometimes, Taking that shot too early, can find you can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew 
that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do. And now she finds herself in a dominant top control position. Ben Asker not gonna be too happy if he plays EA Sports UFC 4. He won't be happy with his boy. <laughs> Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch to the head. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You've got to control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook if you're trying to escape defensively. So just over 20 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zandt. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Oh, effective strike there by Van Zandt. Real sneaky body kick. Van Zandt going for the body, missed with that kick. Nice takedown, and that takedown was because she had to get that takedown. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to... Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Our position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strike. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. All right, round one just okay. Round two is now upon us. How do you approach the first round in a fight compared to other rounds? I know it's a tough question for you. Round number one is you get around, so you gotta make sure you aren't putting yourself in any danger. We saw that for both of these young women. We saw that they were both a little bit tentative, but right now expecting action to really pick up. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh man, head to land. She missed with that jab. Good right hand. Looks like she's trying to set up a sub here. under three minutes now to go on the round. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges. She's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. Beautiful level change, Lisa will take that. Oh, and 
with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Van Zandt gets back up again. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties. And the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Oh! Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to her leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. Nice. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Straight right hand, but she misses. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. One game, wrestler. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Not tapping out tonight. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Now she's in full mount. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work at putting the money in the bank with that ground upon. Money in the bank. Under two minutes now to go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want. The takedown is there. Conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, if you get a bad spot on the ground, looking for a guillotine. from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. 10 seconds now to go in the round. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing, trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Wait, 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 wait. Better than this, okay? You need to set up, set up kicks. 
I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship round. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young boys. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. It's round number four now. Who can really keep fighting at such a high level with such good technical skills as they've gone into round number four? If your opponent has you in the clinch, what a big time takedown. Going for a submission. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Moore just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She's staying busy in a nice series of punches again. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground bump. Oh, nice job working. Level change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Lands with the left. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Now, working on a choke here, potentially. A strike, a strike. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Van Zandt. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Van Zandt's lower jaw now starting to show. What a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Well, a lot of film on her throwing that right hand went to the left hand there. Sometimes you gotta mix it up, and that's exactly what she's doing. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass her full guard right into half guard. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Listen, that was awesome. We need more of that. I want you to go out and... All right, here we go as the next round gets underway, right. and you can see the visible right. damage on both sides after all of the effective body work there in the previous round. You can see it, the redness, the, the, the tenderizing of the ribs. Yeah. Soon, her opponent will start to drop her hands and protect her body, look for her to follow up with something over the top, hoping to end the night. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. Leg kick. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Nice kick. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Oh, she lands the left punch. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. Oh, she's going for a submission attempt now. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them 
force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half bar position. How good is her arm bar? We'll see if she can set it up here. She postures up here, she's nicely done. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Sound strike on the ground. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Man, she's got some good ground and pound, and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the She's top position. She's going for the rear naked choke here. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice loop and punch. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Beautiful. Waiting seconds here of this epic championship fight. All right, so a tremendous title fight tonight. I know we're still digesting everything we just saw, but if I'm a judge, I'm giving the nod to the challenger and now new champion of the world. They always say you have to take the belt from the champion. I believe he did just enough to take the belt from the champ. It's gonna be a very close decision, but I do believe we have a new champion. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and new undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, 12 games. So there she is in all her glory, celebrating with her team, the new UFC strawway champion. Not a lot of the pundits were picking her to win this fight tonight. Those gentlemen and ladies can eat some crow. I did. I didn't expect her to win this fight, but tonight is the last time I'll...